What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue to talk about the FL Studio 22 beta, all right? And today we're going to talk about the changes they did in the browser. So let's get right into it. So the most notable changes are we can finally add tags to our sounds, all right? So you can favorite your sounds and put them in a star tag. This is just where all your favorites can be. Or you could actually tag it to your own sound. So like I got my kicks right here. If I get rid of the Favorite, I got all my favorite kicks right here. I also have one for box one shots, as you can see here. So that's really cool. So if we go back to all to look at our sounds, to tag a sound, it's actually very sim simple, all right? So let's just say, let's go get some snares. All right, so here we go. As you can see, there's a stars tag next to all these. That's because they're in my starred favorite uh, area. But what we can do is we can actually right click it and go to add tag and add a new tag for this. So let's just do snare. If it's already a previous tag, you can just right click it and go to tags and then add that previous tag right there. You don't gotta do add new tag and do snare every single time. And now when we go into our tags, we can now go to snare. We have our snares in there. Now, another thing in the browser is actually some settings we can mess with. So if you go to the drop down arrow, you can actually turn on full sample preview. All right. And this is going to actually let you listen to all of the sample when you click it rather than just a part of it. So if we go into Cymatics Mercury and just find a, a melody here, an R&B melody, let's click on this mirrors melody. See, it's going to play the whole thing. And now another thing they have is this window down here that actually shows the waveform of the sample. It lets you pause and play it. it lets you mess with the volume and shows some more uh, settings of the audio. Another cool thing is if you hold control and left click on whatever area, it will play that part of the sample. That is so much sauce for sampling. It lets you find the exact part of the sample that you want right away with have, without having to drag the sample in, listen to it, delete it, find a new sample, and all of that. So really cool that they finally added that. Now up here you got your different tabs, all right? So you can actually get rid of these tabs and customize them how you want. So for example, I have my own My Library tag over here, which is just all of my sounds, which I actually really prefer. I like having the start area, but I, I'm just so used to going through my library and finding sounds. So being able to actually have its own tab is really nice. Now to get this, to have your own tab, all you got to do is find what you want the tab to be. So this my library right here, I can right click it. You can just hit open a new tab. It will open it in a new tab. So let's just do that with uh, this project bones, right click it, open a new tab. And now See, it's actually got icons up here because I've got too many um, actual things. I've got too many tabs, so it's turning to icons rather than showing me the name of them. But essentially, the Project Bones tab is right here. We can right-click it and delete it if we want. Or we can hide the tab as well, but we'll just delete it. Yeah, you can right-click tabs and hide them. Like this plugins, we can hide it. I'm trying to bring your hidden tabs back, you can right-click it and go to Show Hidden. Let's hit All. Once again, I don't need this plugin tab. I'll hide that. We'll keep everything else. So yeah, another cool feature there. Also, if you have a file here, you can right click it and you can locate it and it will pull it up in the actual folder here in your system. Also, you will notice when you're just searching for sounds, like if I just search kick, you're actually going to find a lot, uh, a better search functionality inside the browser. All right, so keep that in mind. I'll actually search for the sound rather than not searching how it did before where it was really weird. It was really complex. So it's really nice that they made it a little bit more simple. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about being able to put tags and all of that, being able to categorize our sounds. Do you guys appreciate that? Do you like that? Or did you like how it was before?
let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.